Hey everybody, and welcome to the next Smoke and Flame Quick Tip. Now this one's going to be on a feature, again, that I think is uh, underutilized, and that's the input switcher on the MUX. And again, it's humble enough, but also can be used in a lot of uh, cool scenarios. So the first thing I'm, like we're looking at right now is um, if I just do Alt-2, um, you can see I've got uh, two different results happening with, with an effect, all right? And a lot of the time when you're building a bigger tree, um, you don't want to kind of be repiping and uh, worrying about uh, whether you lose connections, but also whether uh, worrying about whether you lose uh, your effects that you built. Um, because again, it's a tech, you know, this is a simpler example, but you know, sometimes you want these to, uh, to be always there um, whenever you need them, just in case uh, they want to bring back, back that version, or you just want to try them out with um, the client there while you're uh, tweaking. So I'm just going to show a quick example of it. So I've pulled out the mux, I'm just going to do Alt C. So it collapses and I'm just going to go and make the amount three for inputs. And I'm just going to make this the front and the mat and then do that for input two. And then the next thing I'm going to do is just add a comp and my front, my back is going to be my source over here and my mat will be the result mat for the mux. So if I set that blend as context one and press spacebar one and then just press one and then up and down arrow, you can see we can quickly trial between the different looks and again, uh, maintain our, our pipeline, not have to worry about repiping stuff. Um, again, super good for just a lot more organizational stuff you can do with that, that, that really helps. Now, this comes into its own right um, when you're using this in action. And again, uh, this will only work in action if you're not doing uh, much, uh, you know, bicubic surface stuff or you know, uh, a lot of scales and stuff like that. If you're just kind of plonking over in action, it can really help too. So to prove the point, if I just, again, I'm gonna pull out a substance texture and I'm just gonna pull out this one by default. And again, remember these are 1024 by 1024. And the cool thing, if I add these to the inputs is by default, if I look at spacebar one with the mux selected and then go to three, we're gonna get what you'd expect, which is unsupported uh, error because it's uh, mixed uh, mixed resolution, you know, which is usually a problem, but this becomes cool when we add this to an action, um, again, because it's not, it's independent of uh, what's happening in normal batch. And again, if uh, we set the action one as context two, let's cancel that and double click. And if we go space two, now, if I uh, cycle between these just by up and down, you can see now it's resolution independent and we can quickly trial out uh, effects. And um, I think that's pretty cool. And, you know, this, besides for effect wise, I sometimes use this too when I'm uh, bringing in text from agencies and just, you know, quickly swapping stuff out or quickly swapping out different variations. It's a lot quicker than uh, being in two up and quickly hiding and making sure you've got the right layer selected in action. So that's it for this quick tip, guys. Um, I hope it was useful. Stay tuned for more.